Hey guys, Boston, Massachusetts is checking in and we're about to talk about this. This is regarding the entertainment business. People who want to be a rapper. I would advise you to go to this channel called Hello Yasin. Hello, Yasin. Let him break down the 360 deal in plain and simple terms. The bottom line that I got from this is that if you're an independent artist, you're better off than being a signed artist. If you are promoting yourself, if you are just constantly grinding, putting your work effort forward on YouTube, you're better off than being signed, especially in a 360 deal because what is happening with these 360 deals, you're giving ownership of your brand to your contract and these label record label companies <sighs> today you have YouTube you understand and the way it seemed like it was explained is this that these record label companies invest a small amount of money and get a huge return especially if you're a well-known established artist meaning you're making a name for yourself without them think about it look at cash doll before she was signed to a major record company and label company you heard about cash doll here there everywhere now it's like they shelved her for the Cardi B's and the um, Meg the Stallion. Now, I don't know if it's colorism. You understand? Because she's a darker skinned female. I don't know. But I know she doesn't look the same. She's not hardly getting like shows here and there. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Lake Street. And that, you know, she's not getting the marketing and promotional, you know, interviews and everything she needs, the support she needs. Turn left onto Lake Street, then turn left. I like Cash Doll. You understand? I think she was a classy chick that represented for the darker skinned black women. You understand? And I still like Cash Doll. I don't like how they played her. You understand? I feel like they shelled her. But if you want to know more about this industry, man, in plain and simple terms, one, two, three, I would advise you to go to Hello Yasin. And his video is your favorite broke rappers. Your favorite rappers aren't rich. And I believe that because I remember a long time ago. Um, may he rest in peace, dirty, old dirty bastard. When old dirty bastard. Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. All the music that he made, he lived worse than a person that lived on Section 8 in welfare. That's the way I envisioned him until I believe it was 50 who came and blessed him and when I looked at Jennifer Hudson how her family was living behind the scenes I said something is wrong because these people supposedly have money why come their people was living like that why come these well-known artists is living like that you understand then I read Bobby Brown's book 
And he said how Whitney went to go get her nails done and the car declined. That's nails. You know, nails ain't shit. It's either you have the money or you don't have the time. You understand what I'm saying? So she went to get her nails done and um, her car declined. And she said, do you know who I am? I'm Whitney Houston. But so many people were stealing from her. But now I understand more of the business as far as what how the guy broke it down you understand and how basically you are the artist you out here doing all the work but you're the last person on the bottom of the totem pole and that's like being a mother you're the last person on the bottom of the totem pole after everybody get paid you're lucky if you have a money for a sandwich left basically that's why you can't blow your money you understand you gotta have a good team around you and you really can't believe the hype you know education truly is the way easy come easy go if you deal with sharks and you don't know the game man they're gonna they gonna swallow you up they're gonna swallow you your destination up. is on the right you understand? And a lot of these people, they look good because that's what it is. It's for the masses. Check out his page. You know, before you sign your life and your rights over and want to die and kill yourself because you done fucked up and gave these goddamn snakes your money. That's all I'm saying, guys. All right. Boston, Massachusetts. Checking out.